video, we're learning how to multiply and divide numbers that are written in scientific notation. So if we look at example one, we have two times 10 to the third times three times 10 to the fourth. Now, if you watched our video on adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation, we typically start by changing both numbers to have the same power of 10. The nice thing about multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation is that we do not need them to be multiplied by the same power of 10. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can solve this just by using the numbers we have right here. So remember that when we're multiplying things, the order in which we multiply does not matter. So this is really the same as two times 10 to the third times three times 10 to the fourth. And then we can just rearrange our numbers in whatever order we want. So I'm gonna rearrange it as two times three times 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth. And you don't need to do this, but I think it's just easier to see what's going on if we put the powers of 10 together and the other two numbers together when we're multiplying. And now what we can do is multiply these two numbers in front. So two times three, which is six, and we're gonna multiply that by the result of 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth. Now remember, when we're multiplying exponent terms that have the same base, so these both have the base of 10, we're gonna add the exponents together. So 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth is 10 to the seventh. So we get six times 10 to the seventh as our answer. Let's take a look at another one. So in example two, we have 1.5 times 10 to the sixth times eight times 10 to the negative second. So we can rewrite this as 1.5 times eight times 10 to the sixth times 10 to the negative second. And now what we wanna do is we wanna multiply 1.5 times eight. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna use a calculator. So 1.5 times eight is going to give me 12. And now I wanna multiply this by the result of 10 to the sixth times 10 to the negative second. So we're gonna add the exponents. So six plus negative two is a positive four. So we get 10 to the fourth. So we get 12 times 10 to the fourth. Now, what you need to realize is this number is not written in scientific notation because this 12 right here, the first number, has to be greater than or equal to one and less than 10. So we have to change this into scientific notation. So we need to change 12 into 1.2. In order to do that, we have to divide it by 10 or move the decimal point one place to the left. In order to keep our number the same, we have to multiply the 10 to the fourth by 10 or move the decimal point one place to the right. If we multiply 10 to the fourth by 10 or 10 to the first, we're gonna add the exponents to get 10 to the fifth. So 12 times 10 to the fourth, written in scientific notation, is 1.2 times 10 to the fifth. Let's go through some problems involving division. So example three is nine times 10 to the 12th divided by three times 10 to the fourth. Now we can solve this in a similar way that we solved the multiplication ones. So what we wanna do is break this up into two fractions. So we're gonna think of this as nine over three times 10 to the 12th over 10 to the fourth. And now we wanna simplify each of these fractions separately. So nine over three is just nine divided by three, which is three. And remember, when we're simplifying exponent terms that have the same base, we are going to subtract the exponents. So 12 minus four is eight. So we get 10 to the eighth when we divide 10 to the 12th by 10 to the fourth. So we get three times 10 to the eighth as our answer. Taking a look at another example with division, we have 8.4 times 10 to the negative fifth over seven times 10 to the negative third. So again, we're gonna split this up into two fractions. So we're gonna write as 8.4 over seven times 10 to the negative fifth over 10 to the negative third. And we're gonna simplify each part separately. So 8.4 divided by seven, think of it as 84 divided by seven, and then we're just gonna put a decimal point in there, is going to give us 1.2. And when we divide 10 to the negative fifth by 10 to the negative third, we wanna subtract the exponents. So we're gonna do negative five minus negative three, which is really negative five plus three, which is negative two. So we get times 10 to the negative second, and our answer is written in scientific notation, so we know that we're finished. 
So we get 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own. Then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've solved them correctly. So example 5 is 2.8 times 10 to the negative 14th times 1.2 times 10 to the negative 9th. So I'm going to start by rewriting this as 2.8 times 1.2 times 10 to the negative 14th times 10 to the negative 9th. And now I'm going to multiply the first two numbers, and I'm just going to use a calculator to save time. 2.8 times 1.2 is 3.36. And then I'm going to multiply 10 to the negative 14th and 10 to the negative 9th by adding the exponents. So negative 14 plus negative 9 is going to give me a negative 23. So I get 10 to the negative 23rd. So I get 3.36 times 10 to the negative 23rd as my answer. And finally, looking at example 6, we have 2.4 times 10 to the 12th over 4.8 times 10 to the 5th. So I'm going to start by rewriting this as two separate fractions. So we're going to have 2.4 over 4.8 and then multiplied by 10 to the 12th over 10 to the 5th. And when we're simplifying or dividing 2.4 by 4.8, we can think of this as 24 over 48. We can just multiply the top and bottom of our fraction by 10 to get rid of that decimal. And 24 over 48 is just a half, which is the same as 0 0.5. And then when we simplify 10 to the 12th over 10 to the 5th, we're going to subtract the exponents. So 12 minus 5 is 7, so we get 10 to the 7th. And now we have to realize that this is not in scientific notation. So we need our first number to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So we have to move the decimal point one place to the right or multiply it by 10 to the first. In order to keep our number the same, we have to divide 10 to the 7th by 10 to the first. Or move the decimal point one place to the left. So 0 0.5 times 10 to the 1st becomes 5. 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the 1st becomes 10 to the 6th. So we get 5 times 10 to the 6th as our answer written in scientific notation. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to multiply and divide numbers written in scientific notation. If you want some more practice with problems similar to the ones we went over today, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet.